Hi. Hi, I'm Betty. I'm Nicole. Thanks for joining us again. Um, This little segment will be about discussing the dreams that we just discussed in the previous segment. Yes. Very Um, interesting. I found out that Nicole found this dream book that she used to have in high school. I did, yes. Um, So she went digging and she found this this book. My Dreamer's Dictionary. Yeah. When I was younger, I thought dreams meant everything. I'm like, (laughs) what did that mean? I need to figure it out. And you know what? I have to point out, though, that I think this is probably like every woman, right? Yeah. I think women are the ones that are like, what did that dream mean? Yeah. What does it mean? What is it going to predict? Yeah. What do I need to change about myself? Yeah. I really don't think it's guys wondering, like, why did I have that dream last night? No, no. I don't think there's any guy with a dream (laughs) dictionary by their bedside table. If there is, I would love to hear all about it. (laughs) We need to meet him. (laughs) I guarantee you it's only women buying this book. Yeah, for sure. So you had a dream, or you have this recurring dream about, Mm -hmm. like, being in a tall building, and a tsunami comes, and you're like, Mm -hmm. we gotta go. I see in my dream, too, it's always a tall building, Mm -hmm. it's always the glass, I see the glass cracking Cracking. as the waves are hitting the windows, Mm -hmm. and then it turns into survival mode, like how... Do I find a way to get myself out of this and not fucking die? Yeah. You're not like me where I'm like, okay, just take me water. No. It's fine. (laughs) You're in survival mode and I'm like, okay, it's fine. I had a good run. Okay. Well, I did look up a couple things. So um, I'm going to look up. So building first. I couldn't find high rise. So I'm not sure if you can find high rise. So buildings in general, um, it says it more aligns with like how the building looked. If it was like a really nice building. Yes. Um, So the buildings represent your life achievements. So, you know, maybe a tall building is like your achievements are really high. Maybe. Oh. Okay. It is always like a very high building. I'm scared of heights too. Yeah. So it's always like the hundredth floor. Yeah. Um, you're way up there. Yeah. Maybe it's because your dreams are sky high. Maybe. <laughs> Good interpretation. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, right? <laughs> you will come into enormous wealth. Um, so like a well-kept, beautiful building or impressive, you can expect eventual luxury. Mm. So you're always at a resort or something like that. I so am. Maybe it's a good thing. I'm always living the... Living the, the life out there on the beach. La like, vida oh, loca. I'm on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> I'm about to fucking die. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> well, I couldn't find tsunami, but I found flood. Okay. Um, so this is more about like if the flood was calm and clear, which it doesn't seem like mm-hmm. it's a calm, clear flood. If the water was muddy or the flood was raging and destructive, you can expect to have a hard, long life. Oh, I don't want a hard, long life. (laughs) I want an easy, luxury life. (laughs) Well, maybe it'll just be... Well, no, honestly, it's about right. I mean, my life has not been easy, that's for sure. sure. You'll take a hard life to live a long time. Makes me fucking strong. It does. Oh, my gosh. I don't know about your dreams. This is kind of weird. Um, and let's see. There was one other thing that I found in here with water. Because okay. a lot of water. Um, so it depends on the details and the action. Clear water is a favorable omen. Rough or murky water signifies difficulties. So it sounds like things are going to be a little rough for you. Maybe oh. it's just going to be a rough climb to get to the top. You're going to have to fight your way up. Well, that's not hard, but that's not what it's saying. It's saying, I'm going to have a long, hard life, long Mm. life. I'm going to have difficulties. That's not what your (laughs) book is saying. We will look, we look this up in my dreamy Uh, obsession. I'm trying. Because I don't like that. Just like in my dream, I'm not going to settle and just settle for that. Yeah. You're just going to be one rough, hard bitch at the end of your life. (laughs) I've seen some things (laughs) As I take a shot of bourbon, (laughs) bourbon bombshells. (laughs) Oh, shit. I'm sorry I didn't have better news for you. Oh, I don't like that Mm -mm. dream interpretation. No. Okay, well, let's go into Nicole's dream. So in her dream, she was telling someone off, okay? 
Is there specifically O.J. Simpson in that one? <laughs> no, but we'll look him up. Maybe he is in the dream book. Okay, so this is the definition. It says, dreaming about telling someone off an unusual encounter. Okay. Dreaming about telling someone off implies that you are likely to make up with an old friend. Oh, that's nice. You will be reconnecting with someone you have not seen in a very long time. You may bump Aww. into this person by chance on the street, in a cafe, or at work. Wow. Dreaming about telling someone off shows that you will both be excited to run into each other. He or she is someone you have had a nice time with and has meant a lot to you. You have a lot. You know what? This is way <laughs> fucking better than that book, okay? I think we need to be look up your dream in this one. <laughs> you have lost sight of each other over time without really realizing it. This reconnection is a good thing for you. Dreaming about telling someone off shows that one of your exes will be planning to reconcile with you. <laughs> This special someone will try to win you back by any means required. It may not be obvious in the beginning, but over time he or she will find a way back into your life. If you are in a relationship, dreaming about telling someone off shows that you must be careful not to destroy everything. Better to clearly tell your ex to keep his distance. Wow. Mm. That is quite the detailed interpretation. Yes. I just thought it was more of my repressed anger coming out in my dreams. Well, this is the complete opposite. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can look up tsunamis. Yeah. How do you spell tsunami? With a T. <laughs> tsunami. <laughs> tsunami. Let's see if that... Oh, no, it auto-corrected. Here, you type. I'm too drunk to type. Oh, I know. I'm feeling it. Yeah, you did not spell that right. <laughs> oh, okay. T-S-U-N-A-M-I. Let's find it. Come on. Okay. What does it mean about a tsunami chasing you? Okay. Okay. Still very intense in your head. It shows this dream has a very particular meaning for you. Dreams never happen for no reason. Blah, blah, blah. I had to scroll down a little bit. Like okay. Right here. What does it mean? Okay. It can be worrying, but you should never forget that dreams are not to be interpreted in a proper sense. <sighs> okay. Come on. Give me the definition. No. Oh. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's even more bad news. I, 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 okay. Maybe we should have sticked with the, the dictionary. Oh, okay. okay. Dreaming about escaping a tsunami indicates that you're going to lose money. It's more secure to put yourself well, in a defensive position. I don't really have any position. money, so we're good. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> don't do any excess and do with what you have for a little while. It's not a good idea to lend money to those around you. If you owe people money, you must claim it because you're going to need it. Oh. oh. Okay. It reveals that you are a kind and positive person. Yay. But it's time to put you first. Oh. Okay. So I've been neglecting myself? You have. It reveals that you are good and open-minded. You like the support of others. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Implies you have never really run out of money. Hmm. Let's see what else. So apparently, even though I don't have any money, I'm going to go broke. You are. I'm going to be a broke bitch. But you're a good person. (laughs) I guess that's all you need. And it just also says, it implies that it's time to think about you. This doesn't make you selfish, but will help you grasp your full potential. That's a very convoluted definition of a tsunami dream. It really is. Yours was yeah. very clear. Like, it you're going to run into somebody, and this right. person is going to try to come back into your... Yeah. <gasps> you're going to be poor, save your <laughs> money, but you're a good person. It's fine. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let's look up the vampire one. A vampire dream? Yeah. Do the you one... have vampire dreams? Yes. Yeah, so I always have this dream about vampires chasing me and trying to t- take my blood. Oh my gosh, you are so weird. <laughs> okay. What does it mean? Okay. Did you feed the vampire? No, the okay. vampires are always trying to bite me. Okay. They want my blood. 
because apparently there's some bourbon whiskey in it that they <laughs> crave. why they're after <laughs> you. Um, this is all about feeding a vampire. I don't really quite okay, know. let's see. Okay. Let's see if I can find something. You look it up. I don't um, know if I've ever had monster dreams before. Did you watch True Blood? Is that why? I have seen True Blood a long time ago. Okay. Um, but I don't... I didn't really like it, to be honest with you. Yeah. I wouldn't say it was one of my favorite shows. It was okay. It was just something I watched, but then it just got too way out there. Yeah. I tried to watch one in mid-season, and I was so confused, and I didn't go back to it. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot going on there. Okay. So I found something. Let's see here. Let's see the crazy. meaning of vampires chasing you. Doesn't mean you're gonna Dreaming have no about, money. <laughs> about vampires chasing you shows that you are independent, anxious, fascinated, instinctive, original. You are very satisfied with your differences. Always in for unusual activities. <laughs> that sounds about right. That's you to a T. You are not you. you not usually you don't usually blend to a moral code that is not yours okay dreaming about vampires chasing you shows that you are ordinarily open-minded big-hearted and casual but you cherish ambiguity how do you say this word ambiguity yeah Mm -hmm. and what does that mean like a different abnormal weird oh maybe and complication in your human relationships Dreaming about vampires chasing you suggests that you are an idealistic, you want to change people, things, society, according to your personal theories, Mm -hmm. which you tell easily. You need intensity in your life. That's you. Um, You need to be excited about something, technology, or egocentric levels. The search for your uniqueness, your inner life, confident and hopeful. You are a solid friend and show solidarity to as many people as you can. And dreaming about vampires shows that you are seductive by philosophy and human sciences. That is you. That's not a bad dream. Maybe I am a vampire. (laughs) Let me get you some things. I'm going to bite you. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Well, that is interesting. I'm going to suck you into my world. <laughs> and take all your money. Because <laughs> I'm going fucking broke. I'm going into a life, a long, a long hard, hard life. <laughs> of miser- miserable. <laughs> <laughs> of difficulties and no money. It's a good thing I have fucking alcohol. Well, you can take the rest of that bottle if you need it. I, I need it. I need it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's strange. It is strange. Yeah. I've had a lot of recurring dreams, but the vampire one, that's that's different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I say the tsunami one and the vampire one, I have at least a month every month. Wow. So weird. I know. It's always different. Mm. It's always a different vampire group chasing me. It's always a different setting. Like sometimes I'm in the city. Sometimes I'm like at my house. Like yeah. uh, it's just very random. Mm. And, and it's not because I watched the new season of American Horror Story. Okay. Oh, okay. Is that about vampires? I haven't watched it. Yeah. There's a segment oh. about the vampires. Okay. But it's, it's not because of that either. Because <laughs> I've been having them for years. <laughs> It's just because you're one crazy bitch. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. That was a good one. Mm-hmm. Well, think about the dreams that you've had. Um, mm-hmm. We've had some crazy ones, and I think it's fun to look them up. I mean, you know, it probably doesn't mean a whole lot. I think our brains are fascinating, and there's so much shit happening that we probably can't even explain. Mm-hmm. 